Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I thought I'd just give a quick flip through of what I've been making with my new uh, latest digital kit, which is the Chevy Chic French Collection. Um, and it's really, really pretty. It's a really, really pretty kit. Um, I've made a ring binder. Um, it's got a, lots of different pages and different shapes and sizes in there. So it's a little bit different to what I would normally make. Um, I've added some um, seam binding and some velvet and some lace onto the little rings um, just to give a little bit of um, dingly danglies on there. Um, I've got the closure is a nice little piece of this, the um, velvet ribbon as well. So let's start. So on the front page I've just got lots of different ones in here look so it's really really nice. The first one I've actually backed with a bit of the fabric. Um, and I've made a little pocket. I've got one of the journaling, big journaling cards on the front um, and then one of the little tags on a little bulb clip with a little bow. Then I've made a little pocket in here and I've just made like a little booklet. So it's just got some odd bits of paper that I had left over in there. So that just slots in there. I've just edged it there with some seam binding. So that's the first page. Okay, so the second one, what I've done, I've just sort of like cut the pages up. So I've just um, made a long piece here. And what I've done, I've got a piece of um, tea stain paper and I've just sort of like folded it in half um, to make it a little bit thicker. And then added a section of one of the pages on there and just sewn it all around. That's one of the little tags on there that I've just clipped on. And I actually sandwiched in between some seam binding and some cheesecloth when I sewed it in so it sort of like goes in between which looks really nice um, here's one of the little envelopes that I've made so I've just take I've just popped it together with some seam binding lovely pink one there and then added some of the little embellishments on here with some lace a little flower on here and then inside this one I've just got some little le leftover bits that I've got here which we can still add to it I'll pop that bit on in a minute Let's clip that back up there so the, the actual envelopes that I made I've just popped I've just um, tore in half one of the big A4 sheets of paper and then folded it up to make an envelope so you can get two out of one sheet of paper um, this one again I've got a piece of the paper I've got some ribbon on there some little bit of cheesecloth on there so which is just backed it's sort of like I've backed it so it makes another pocket and then here I've got a, one of the journaling cards and I've got some um, made like a little ruffle down here so we've got some nice writing you can do some nice journaling on there so that just slips in there nicely um, and on the back I've just got one of the little tags hanging off here so you can do some journaling on the back of that lots of journaling space on here just added a little bit on here so this can dangle off and um, this one I've just used one of these as a little um, one of the little teardrops um, just to embellish the page and then I've made a little pocket on here with one of the little cards in and again I have popped a little heart hanging from there which I absolutely love them dangling down and then on the other side I've got a little pocket in there so it's popped in the little side pocket there with one of the journaling cards another pocket here with lots of the little embellishments that we had in the kit so they can just pop in there and then I've got a little oops not to go too high little pocket down here but it's a, like a little side pocket so you can pop little bits and pieces in there so that's in that one um, this one is one of the journaling cards which I've just popped some little holes in and popped it on there so you can do lots of writing um, these pages that I've done I've got another little envelope on here so let's just take that off I've got a sheet of um, this graph paper not graph paper just um, squared paper and I've just folded it in three and sewn around it so it makes it thicker so it makes it like a, a page on there so you can write on there do some journaling on there and then we go again we've got a nice little envelope which I've decorated it on here and on the top here so that just opens up one of my little ruffles and a few little glass beads on there and then I've just hooked it on the side of the page like that so that looks nice doesn't it 
here again this one we've got another little pocket here and um, with another little journaling card in which I've embellished on there look so I've just popped a piece of ribbon that goes over the top so one side to the other side like that so I thought that looked quite nice a little bit of um, velvet ribbon down there so another dingly dangly on here and I've sandwiched in when I, when I sew them together, I sort of like sandwich in the ribbon um, so it holds it tight and then I just sew all the way around it. There we go. And then I've just added one of these as a page embellishment on there. So you've got all this to write on. So another journaling card on there. Put this over. And then I've just added a little cluster on top of there. This is the same, this is lined paper, which I've done the same. I folded it into three and I sewed all the way around it um, just to make it thicker. And put another envelope on there, which I've attached. I've got a lovely little heart and a little um, bow on there. So we just make lots of little clusters up. And I think they look really, really pretty. Very shabby in here. Um, and then we've got another little journaling card there, which I've added. Um, some bits and pieces. On this one I've added a, a pocket to it um, with one of the little journaling cards in there and I've let it hang down so here you can sort of see it hangs underneath and I've just added some little bits of fabric under there just so it's sort of like makes it look a little bit messy but nice and shabby. Here I've just added one of, of the little cards here um, to make a little pocket and pop some the little um, embellishments in there a little bit of cheesecloth on there and then I've edged it with some velvet and here we go so we've got a nice side pocket in there and we've got two journaling cards well we've got one journaling card and then I've made some writing paper so it doesn't that look pretty so you can have got a nice little piece of writing paper in there so that just slots in there like that this one again, I've just added a piece of the um, digital paper onto there and sewed it onto a, a tea stain paper. And then we've got some nice little um, danglies down there. And I've just attached on here, just sewing a piece of um, lace and a bit of velvet ribbon just to hang so they can got something to hang off. So they look nice dangling down. This one here, I've sewn again a piece of the paper. I've made a little rip in it here and I've sandwiched in some um, fabric so we've got some lace and we've got some cheesecloth in there so it's sort of like sandwiched in um, and then sewn around it so I think that looks quite nice on there and then we've got a little journaling card this side which I've decorated and take it off so we've got a little bow on there some um, cheesecloth and some lace under there so that just clips on so we've got a journaling card there. I like these little postcards. I think they're really nice. Um, here we've got another envelope. Let's just take this one off. Oops. We've got a little bit of an embellishment there. And then on the back we've got this. So I think that looks really nice. So these can go either way. If it goes this way because then that won't be upside down, will it? Let's pop it this way round. I'll just pop the little paper clip on there. So I'm not sure whether I've actually finished. I, I might add a few extra bits and pieces into it. We'll see. Um, this page here, again, I've folded up um, a piece of lined paper into three and made a page. Um, this one's a bit of a difference on this one. I've made a pocket with some cheesecloth. Um, and I've added, I hope you can see, I've put them in view here and I've made a little cluster there and sewed it on I've just sewn the heart down through the middle so it's um, not stuck down completely um, and then I've got two journaling cards to go in here and then what I've done, I've tied it into a little bow so they don't fall out but I've actually attached it on the back here I've sewn it either side here so then we've got a little tuck spot there like that so it acts as sort of like two little bits on there and I've just got a nice journaling page with um, 
some lace and seam binding and stuff on there so that just slips in through there and then we just sew this sew it on we just tie it on like that so it doesn't so the things don't fall out because sometimes when you have pockets like this on the side they're quite loose um, so your things will fall out but I thought if I tie a bow on there um, and sew this down the sides we're going to have a nice little tuck spot so that worked out really well okay that's a nice page here um, I haven't done anything with that because I quite like it like that again I've sandwiched in the fabric um, and the lace before I sewed it on um, and on this side I've got one of the journaling cards which I've used as a pocket here I've added some lace and some um, cheesecloth and one of the embellishments here and here and then I've made a little um, letter to journal with so that can just pop into the pocket like that and sewn it on with some seam binding and then the last page which is the back page I've actually got a little journal in there but I've made a little pocket here um, and I've got some um, the little embellishments on the back there stuck on here and then we've got a lovely little journal on in here which has got some lovely little tea stain pages on on the um this bit here i've put some um cheesecloth and some fabric under there and i've just sort of like layered it i don't know whether you can actually see it's sort of like layered in the peachy and the brown colors on there so it sort of like blends in um and here just so when you sew it in I actually sewed this one in with a sewing machine so we can see find the middle of it like that so I've just gone down there with the sewing machine um, so there we go so that was an easy little booklet to do and that just tucks it in there like that and then the back page here I've got a little tuck spot there which I've made with one of the embellishments one of the little teardrops and a little um, bow and this is just a little um, journaling spot there so well I hope that's given you a couple of ideas you don't have to do it through um, a ring binder some of these will adapt um, to your sort of like normal book journals um, but I thought that was really really pretty so I thought I would share it with you all um, so thank you for joining me um, please check out my kits on, on in my Etsy shop um, this one in particular is a really really pretty one so there we go guys have a lovely day thank you so much for joining me take care bye bye